There's new food coming back. The full effect. Best effect. But when we left off, new food was uh, trying to figure out if any of the shit he picked up was worth putting on and thinking, you know, probably not. as if noob is always right How much worse this game runs on my computer than The Witcher does? Help or Mayday or whatever it is one says on a radio. Who's there? My name is Rex. Oh, Good hell no! I'm says on a radio. My name is Rex Goodman. I'm being held prisoner on the top of Trinity Tower. I think the super mutants plan on eating me soon. I'm sending this to repeat. Ah, oh, shit! Gotta sign off. One of the super mutants is coming! Help, or Mayday, or whatever it is one says on a radio. My name is Rex Goodman. I'm being held prisoner on the top of Trinity Tower. I think the super mutants plan on eating me soon. I'm setting this to repeat. Ah, oh, shit! Gotta sign off. One of the super mutants is coming! Help! Or Mayday! Or whatever it is one says on a radio. My name is Rex Goodman. Backstreet Boys, more like. Trinity Tower. Wow, I gotta turn off this message. Super yeah. mutants plan on eating me soon. I'm sending this to repeat. You really are one of the good guys, you know. Let me see. A couple years back, before I met Clutch. Thanks, Preston. I already know you think so. I know, but I don't know if you really get it. How unusual you are. Since we met, I think you know I've really come to respect you, both as a leader and as a friend. Most people are just out for themselves, one way or another. Even the good ones. But you're different. You really care about other people. Even when it isn't convenient, or even safe. 
I've seen you risk your life more than once to help people just because it was the right thing to do. I just wanted you to know that, well, that it matters, that you're making a difference. Or, oh. You just described yourself, Preston. I hope you realize that. Quite the mutual admiration society we've got going here, huh? No, but I hear you. And th let's just agree to both keep that in mind going forward, huh? All right, enough chit chat, huh? Oh, that was a cool animation. Right. I wanted to hear the end of the mattress related story. Is unfortunately your last. Good night and so long. Nice. Uh, an incredibly super question. this 
all day. I got all day. Tight. Fortunately, I don't have a master class. Abernathy fun. Mr. Abernathy? Thanks for your help fighting them off. I was glad to help out. I can't argue with your timing. Who knows what would have happened to us if you hadn't been here. Anyway, we appreciate the help. Just wanted to trade a few things. Okay. Oh, okay. that I'm not using.
That's the sound of little girls wanting a brush. Again, I just want to trade a few things. Go ahead. Nice. Stupid. Thanks, I can sleep here now. Fucking spill mad blood for that, right? Some mattresses. Maybe I could always use that one on side. Or more likely, I've been able to use it for a while and I didn't realize. Now go, hunt for mice or something. Just looking to trade a little. Of course. Excuse me. I take it you want to trade? I just want to trade a few things. Okay. Shame on you if you fool me twice. Take it you want to trade? I want to trade a few things. Okay.
course I can't help it. It hasn't been that long since... since she... Stop. Just put it out of your... There. Not enjoying themselves. Scrounger perk. I have so much ammo. It's gonna be crazy. It's not gonna. It's not really gonna be crazy. The light oh, yeah. has two heads. So I mean, yo. I want to chit chat. Kinda do, baby. Sure, let me just stop what I'm doing to talk to you. I'm being sarcastic. Leave me alone. But I'm gonna get a free level from it. A free level I have worked for. I got a level from it, so. I got to do. Did you have any luck with those raiders? I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. As far as that By the way, but it's so we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. Hey, what is it? What now? We can finally start to think about more than just survival. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Men and Men HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, 
centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. Diamond City. I like the high concept similarity between how settlements work and how that um fallout shelter game worked. Oh, that you gone done and said it. I feel like I have to.
looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. <clears throat> so you get one of those fancy vault suits. Those one size fit all. See those big lights? That's right. Work in electricity. Defending Diamond City is nothing me, my boys, the wall, and a few turrets can't handle. You should get inside the city. Nothing to see here. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here, for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry. But Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> there you go. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before Danny catches on with the block. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You... All right, um... Devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrap for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Always believed in freedom of the press. It's one of the foundations of a free society. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City materials. Do I? Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Just looking for something. Oh, um, what is it you're looking for? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. I'm safe coming this. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. No. <laughs> you have time to get safe scummed.
to you submit to my majesty. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, I'm sorry. I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Well, sure. And well, I'm sorry. I don't have. Well, sure. Well, I'm sorry, I don't... Well, sure. And... Well, I'm sorry, I don't have... Oh, my lord. Well, sure. And... Well... Uh, there we go. There's, uh, one private citizen... Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons? I've had up? enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yeah. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. There we go. An excellent place to fuck off. Hey, what is it? Excuse me. Do you think we're ready to retake the castle? So what happened to this castle if it was so well fortified? This was long before I joined up. But the story okay. I heard. I don't got time for this. I will have time for it. Starting right now. Goodbye, guys. Bye bye.